Hi everyone, it's Lisa for the Graphics Fairy. Today I have a fun quick tip for you. We're going to be making a small faux glassine um, bag and it's filled with ephemera and you can use this in your junk journals. I got this idea from watching Beth Wallen's recent design team video. She did her um, pastel junk journal and she had a little glassine bag like this. And I wanted to add one to um, my journal that I'm working on. This is the upcycled cereal box journal that I showed you last week. So if you missed that, go back and check that out. But um, I wanted to make one to add to this, but I didn't have any of these little glassine bags in my stash. So I started thinking, I wonder if there's a way that I could DIY these. And so I came up with a process and I wanted to share it with you today. Um, first, let me just show you, here's the little bag. It looks like an authentic little glassine bag. And here is the ephemera that I printed out from the membership site to put inside. And I feel like I say this every week, but this is one of my favorite bundles. Um, it's really true. This one is the mini ephemera pieces bundle. And it just has all these little cute tickets and tags and trade cards. And I love these. I use these all the time. The tags, I just punch a hole so they look, you know, like a real um, authentic tag. So go check that out. I think that you'll love it. But let's just get started right now on making the bags. They're really quick. So I wanted to show you how to do it. All right. So first you'll just need some um, parchment paper. This I just grabbed from the kitchen. I use it for baking and I tore off a piece that was about eight by 10 inches large. And I brewed up some really strong black tea. I put the paper in the bottom of a 13 by nine baking dish. And then I just poured the tea in on top and let it sit overnight. And in the morning I took the paper out. It looked like this and I put it on some paper towels and smoothed it out and allowed it to dry. So once you have that finished, you have your um, piece of paper to get started. And from here, it's just a couple measurements and a couple cuts. So the first thing you'll do is measure down um, five inches from the top, if this is the top of my paper. So I went ahead and did that, and then you'll connect those dots and cut this piece off. And then for the width, you're gonna wanna measure six and three quarter inches. And um, so I've gotten started on that. Let's see, six and three quarter, right there. oh yeah, I did. And then mark that line and cut that. And you can really, you can make these any size. The only reason I'm telling you the measurements is because I know there are some people that really um, just like to do things with exact measurements. But honestly, if I was making one of these, I probably wouldn't even bother to measure. I would just um, wing it, but that's just kind of how I roll. Everybody's different that way. All right, so this is a five inch by six and three quarter inch piece of paper. And I just turn the bottom up about a quarter of an inch and I turn the right side up a quarter of an inch and fold it and then just fold it in the center. There you go. Okay, so this is gonna be the front of your bag and this will be the back of your bag. So the front is going to have a straight cut. So I measure down one inch and now I'm just gonna cut on the fold. I'm gonna cut down one inch and you can just cut straight across that one inch line if you like, but I wanted to show you a little trick. This is a, um, it's the metal cutter off of an aluminum foil box and I just ripped it off and I keep it in my um, craft room and I use it to get a um, serrated edge, a little mini serrated edge on a project. So all I do is place the metal strip down along the line that I want. And then you just tear the paper up and you'll get this um, serrated edge. So let's go. like that. And now you can see it has that little serrated edge, just like an old bag would have had. 
And now we just need to make the arch on the back. And to do that, I've discovered um, a plate works best for me. Uh, this is about an eight inch salad plate. I just turn it over and um, align it about halfway on the um, back of the bag and trace the arch and we'll get a nice arch this way. So we're just going to trim along that line. You can take your time and trim it nicely and get all of that pencil line off. Okay, so then I just need to cut this little corner off as well. There we go. And now all that's left is the gluing. Now I'm just using some Elmer's washable clear glue. You can use any craft glue that you like. Fold your little tabs up and inward and run a little glue along your tabs. And then just Press it down. And allow it to dry. And that's it, you have your little bag. So now let me show you this other idea that I had. I have started using a planner, which is pretty new to me. And I didn't realize that on the membership site, if you go to the printables tab, there are um, planner stickers that you can print out all different designs. Look at all of these cool sheets that you can print out and use in your planner. There are journaling tabs and stickers. So I printed out a bunch and put them in the bag and I clipped them inside my planner. So now I have those, all those fun stickers and everything just ready to add to my planner. So I hope you like this idea. It's really easy and um, give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions and give this video a like, please. And subscribe here at the Graphics Fairy YouTube channel. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.